Whoever. <laughs> <laughs> we got a game to win. You come here looking like this. <laughs> you need bodies. I got it. <laughs> I ain't got no comment. Team not said last something. Um, how do you navigate uh, tonight, keeping guys focused on uh, the task at hand, which is the Orlando Magic? Um, take it one game at a time, you know, and just understand that we got to have the right mindset, you know, offensively making sure our spacing is good. Um, you know, they're a really good defensive team. Um, they do a lot of good things. So Jamal has those guys playing, you know, great defensively. And then make sure we get them back in transition. You know, we got to get back in transition, um, make sure we don't allow them to get easy baskets. And then, you know, which we did a great job of last game, is just make sure we, you know, finish the possession with a rebound. You know, they do a great job of crashing the glass. So we got to make sure we're hitting bodies and rebounding the basketball. So we got to be locked in for 48 minutes. And it all starts the first five minutes of the game, just having that deepest of mindset. What about navigating the personal, emotional side of the game and everything that's happened the last couple of hours? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Dula, I haven't been here yet. Anything new going on I need to know about? Is law in costume or is this regular law? <laughs> no, no, I'm asking. Oh, he, like, he, like, law, he got that trench coat. I like that trench. <laughs> so nothing new I need to know about it all but with your team and what's going on around here these days? Just our mindset and our approach, you know, playing hard, practicing hard, getting better every day. Um, that's about it. Thank you. See uh, Norm and Zuma on the injury report of those guys. They're in tonight. Yep. They're they're both in. Yep. Um, who do you want to uh, start with? The Bones. Uh, so when you have when you have that lineup, Bones and, and Russ together. Uh, I know you said earlier. Or, um, I guess it's Tuesday, but you mentioned that you wanted Russ to get some time in with Norm. You, know, you wanted to, to have Bones get that time in with PG and Kawhi. It's just a way to kind of do both. Just yeah, kind of do both and separate Bones and Norm, you know, as much as possible, and then we'll get uh, Russ out early and bring it back to that second unit. Ty, uh, rotation-wise, how how uh, complicated is it going to get not only tonight but tomorrow as well for you? Um, we should be okay. Yeah, rotation-wise, I think we'll be fine. And you think your um, your two guys, if they if they're feeling all right, like quiet and pause, George, if they're feeling all right after tonight. Uh, still possible for tomorrow? Yes, possible. Yes, sir. I was going to ask what Elm was going to ask, but just in a, in a back-to-back situation, how difficult is it navigating with only an eight, nine-man roster? <laughs> um, you know, our mindset is to win tonight. You know, that's our goal is to focus on tonight and then see how guys are feeling afterwards, you know. But, you know, we got to lock in on Orlando. You know, they're a good team. Jamal has these guys playing really good. And so um, we got to lock into that and then tomorrow I'll take care of itself. But Right now, going into it, we just want to focus on tonight. What, what have you made of Fultz? And the, like, you know, when he started his career in Philly, he dealt with injuries. Gets to Orlando, still has a couple. What have you seen out of his progression throughout his career to get to the point that he's at? It's funny. We we're talking about it um, early before shooting around. First of all, just happy for him, you know, to be healthy and um, to play at a high level the way he's been playing over the last, you know, year and a half, two years. And so, you know, Jamal's, you know. Let him go, pushing the pace, getting to the basket, having an attack mentality, shooting his mid-range pull-up, and so I'm just pl- I'm glad to see him playing with a lot of confidence and glad that he's healthy, and um, like he makes that engine go in that first unit, you know, pushing the pace, getting downhill, getting to the paint. So we got to make sure that we can just try to slow him down, you know, make him play against a set, you know, half-court defense, not let him get in transition and get out early. Hey Ty, um, given what Rush showed when to the group last season, how similar or different do you see that role being this season? Say it again. With with Russ, Russ's role, how similar or different do you see his role being this season compared to last season? Um, I think last year was different. You know, didn't have a training camp, came in the last 20 games of the season, and kind of had to learn on the fly. You know, and then only playing with PG, I think nine or ten games, it was kind of hard to really see, but. Um, just through training camp, the preseason, and now the first three games, he's really been great. You know, um, everything he's done for us as far as pushing the pace, getting to the paint, making the right play, and um, he's been phenomenal. So um, I don't see things changing. I think they're in a good flow and a good rhythm right now, and uh, we just got to keep moving forward. Hey, Coach, uh, you got a chance to coach Paolo this summer. 
at uh, USA Basketball. What have you seen from him in his uh, second season up close and personal? Um, just his IQ, um, his basketball IQ, being able to pass the basketball, uh, being able to play multiple positions um, on the offensive end and the defensive end. And um, I mean, he was great, you know, just being able to play, you know, the five, the four, handle the basketball, you know, make plays. And then defensively, he really surprised me because he, he was able to guard smaller guards and point guards and um, do a good job with that. So um, he's a really good player. Thank you. Oh, oh right. man, that was easy, easy sir. Right. <laughs> yeah. Let's get ready for Hoop Jab.